What's up, everybody? This is Peter again for Sports Hot Rumors and Debates. Happy Mother's Day, and I'm sorry for this late video, guys. I didn't feel that great today. I want to talk about today about the inevitable change, something that is really interesting to talk about because you get a small window in sports, and you guys know I'm a diehard Cardinal fan, and the Cardinal time is now, and for all these teams that a few years ago was looking at these dynasties and saying, oh, man, now it is your time. You get this window, you got to capitalize on it. Let me explain what I mean. The Patriot time right now, not that they're not going to do well. Their time is pretty much over with the Brady dynasty and Gronkowski, all that stuff. So they may have to build up again. Buffalo, that your time is now, right? Anybody, Miami or the Jets, you guys got to try to step up. But it's pretty much Buffalo's division right now. That's the way I look at it. Now it's the Titans, right? The Titans, I like what they have in Tannehill. They got some nice young receivers. They got an amazing running back. Your time is now. Who thought this was going to happen? You get, you never know. And I'm going to show you how you never know what's going to happen, right? You remember when it was Phillip Rivers and you got Aaron Rodgers and then you had the Atlanta Falcons who just missed the Super Bowl. You had Seattle who you couldn't even score on when you went into Seattle. Things change. Everything changes. And when it's your time, you got to capitalize. Who remembers that Atlanta when they just had the Patriots and then you're just like, wow, they blew that. But you never know. They'll come back. You've never seen it again. Shit happens. You can't miss out on it. Aaron Rodgers' time is pretty much up with Green Bay. Another year, he's going to be gone. Who expected this shit to happen like this, right? For example, Kansas City right now is the team that can sail in because they're the team that I think their division is getting, like Denver, the Chargers. I don't see it. The Raiders will get better, but they still don't have enough. So Mahomes and them was probably going to take over what the Patriots did and kind of everything's going to run through KC. Baltimore, Lamar Jackson, your time is now. Because Pittsburgh doesn't have what they used to have. Roethlisberger is getting older. There's no more Brown. They just don't have it. They'll be okay. The Bengals got a long way to go. So if, if you're looking at a division like this, right, and you're saying, okay, we have a crappy division, we got to capitalize because you know these teams are just going to spend money and get better. The Arizona Cardinals right now have a nice chance because the Rams and the Seahawks, if the Seahawks don't sign Clowney, are gonna Arizona's gonna step up right past those two and challenge the, the 49ers. That is my opinion. Tampa Bay right now is kind of going for it all with the veterans, right? Remember with the Raiders back then when Jerry Rice went there? That's kind of what I see with Tampa Bay right now. I can see them going, but who knows about their future, right? You only got a couple more years of Brady and Gronkowski. So their time is going for it now. Atlanta may have to start over because I, you know, their quarterback situation, he's just not gonna cut it anymore. The Saints. They're still going to be there, but they just seem to like they got screwed a few years ago and they just seem to be screwing up. Breeze isn't getting any younger. You know, I like when Bridgewater was running around, but I'm not sure if I see the Saints ever doing what they need to do to, unless they play at home. That's just my opinion. If we go into the only crappy division that I see that is really up for grabs right now is the Dallas, the Giants, the Eagles. I would say the Eagles are probably the strong point with the Dallas right there, but those guys got to stay healthy. But the time is now for teams in other divisions to step up. You have to take this because you don't know when you're going to get this chance again. So it's kind of Mahomes and Lamar Jackson changed the game of football. They changed it like Curry changed basketball. You kind of need a running agile quarterback now. Bring in Kyler Murray on Arizona. You need these guys to move around and do things. Russell Wilson is kind of one of the guys who really started it. And now you see a lot more of that. It's just, you cannot get away in football with just like back in the day where Peyton Manning was just sitting back there having coffee. You cannot get away with that anymore. You got guys pressuring, you need quarterbacks to move. So now you get about a two to three year window of saying, all right, I'm going to go for it all. That's why I can see teams like Arizona, teams like, look, for example, the Jacksonville Jaguars. A few years ago when they had that defense of Calais Campbell. And Jalen Ramsey. And you're like, holy shit, this team could be better. They made that big signing for Foles. And you're just like, wow, look what happened. Look at the Bears. When they signed Mac, when they already had a good team already. And then you're like, wow, Mac's going to go. Who's going to score? What the hell happened to them? Right? Trubisky just didn't play well the next year. It just didn't work out. And so I know I'm jumping from division and from conference to conference. But just trying to give you guys examples of teams that were in the playoffs. And now they're not. It just happens like that. So within the next year or two, Rivers, Brady, they will not be here no more. 
It's different time. It's Lamar Jackson's. It's Patrick Mahomes. It's Kyla Murray. These are the guys now that are going to be taking over the thing. Prescott, and I like that Prescott. You know, these are the guys that are taking over the league. Allen, all these quarterbacks will be doing this now. And you got to kind of adjust to it. Philip Rivers, to me, is a guy where that's the old. Nobody wants to see that no more. Nobody wants to see a guy who definitely can still throw, but you know he's not going to get it done if, even if he gets into the playoffs. You need a playmaker. And these teams who have the chance right now, you have to go for it. Remember when the Rams were so good and they just they played in the Super Bowl? You're like, holy shit, young coach, young team. This team's going to be great for years. What the hell happened? What happened? Right? The Falcons, I said this before. What happened? You have Julio Jones and all these guys, and you're like, wow, this team's going to look amazing. That's why I say San Francisco, even though they just missed out on the Super Bowl, you don't know. It's not too long ago that Kaepernick and his team were playing the Ravens. What happened? Shit changes. You have to capitalize when you have it. That's why I said for Larry Fitzgerald and all these guys, that's why Larry's still there for a couple of years, DeAndre Hopkins, just because you have it and you have a young Kyler Murray, you don't know what's going to happen. You're one injury away in sports from not making the playoffs and just things getting harder. And you got to be able to stay with it and you got to be able to not make mistakes. The Seattle Seahawks, if they lose uh, Clowney, that's going to be a problem for them. And I don't think they're getting signing him. So to me, that's a problem. They already were struggling on defense. Arizona went in there and then then Hunley was doing well there. You remember going into Seattle. Do you think that anybody can score at that time? Oh, my God. With Cam Chancellor and all those dudes, you couldn't even get a fucking field goal. Now you can go in there and dudes are scoring left and right. It's just crazy to me how things can change. The time is now. So for all you guys who watch teams kind of just sail and you said to yourself, oh, my God, my team's going to win four games this year and stuff. Your time is now. Talk to you guys tomorrow.